Aloha, Aloha everyone. everyone, I'm Mikela. And I'm Scott, and we want to welcome you to our online platform and wish you a Happy, Happy Easter. Easter! Today is such a beautiful day to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Woo! Jesus Christ. Are you excited for today's Easter? I'm so excited, and I also prepared my very own Easter basket! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Happy Easter! You're in for a special treat today. We have Dave Swanson, who's a professional musician, and more than that, he's part of the MGMC family. And he's gonna share with you the inspiration that he got during the pandemic. And he's gonna share some of his new music with all of you. So stay tuned and enjoy this wonderful testimony. Hey everybody, happy Easter 2021. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so blessed that you're here with us. Happy I, Easter. I got some great men right here with me of course we got pastor cal back hey. in the saddle with me it's hey. been a couple of weeks i think more, than, more a than a couple of weeks. weeks yeah but it's been good i had to bring this guy in because mm -hmm. he would not be happy if he found out i'm interviewing this guy right here <laughs> uncle no. dave swanson with us so good to have you here with us and Thanks nor would i here. i wouldn't yeah. be happy either yeah <laughs> yeah 21 almost 21 years ago is Wait. that right yeah at the w Whoa. We went to a concert at the Shell, and then we went and had dinner at the W. That's right. And I turned to I turned to Joyce. Said, "This guy is better than the concert I just came out of." <laughs> and and everybody on the table agreed. Wow. And so after we had to go and talk to him. And, and you know what you you asked me for? Do you remember? I of course I remember what I was asking yeah. for. I was, you asked me for your favorite song that, uh, by Roberta Flack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the first time. Ever I saw your face. Yeah. Wow, you remember that. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. 21 years. 21 yeah. years ago, because Micah had just graduated from high school and and he was gonna leave and uh, and I was so sad and Micah was growing up and <laughs> and I thought about that song, first time I ever saw your face. And this wow. man, this man, so so mom and I were crying our eyes out. <laughs> they were st you were standing right there by me. I, I, <laughs> and here's the piano, and here were you two. <laughs> the first time. I mean, anybody would have cried. Concert, oh my gosh. It was, whoa. Yeah, it was great. It was oh, great. And, and we have been so blessed. Yes. That it's continued on. Yes, and it has. Mm -hmm. uh, I love you. We love your music. You have been a part of our lives and yeah. Daniel's life. I mean, you've, oh. been, you've <laughs> been such a blessing to our family, obviously, as dad is sharing, but to all of MGMC. Yeah. And, uh, and that's one of the reasons why we wanted to bring you on here is you've been such a blessing to us. I mean, personally, as you know, I mean, a lot of you know, you played at my wedding. <laughs> you played at my grad, uh, high school graduation party for crying out loud. I mean, when my wife and I, at the time when we got engaged, we would go to the Kahala, I think every weekend, yeah. as much yeah. as we had to go visit you to hear yeah. you play. Yeah. Um, so, w of course, when, when you gave me the call, like, hey, you know, what's going on? W of course, they jumped at us. Like, we got to have you come on uh, on our online platform uh, for, for you to bless us. So thank you for being here with us. You're welcome. So it's, awesome. my, it's my pleasure. It's Man, my pleasure. so good. So we want to dive in, but before we do that, we wanted to give our viewers one of your songs and uh, the first song is called send me but do you want to build up on or kind of give an introduction to it or we just go right to it sure uh, send me was, was one of my more fun songs to do um, because it didn't have it doesn't have a lot of lyrics it, it's basically what i call um, a call to duty mm -hmm. so you know I'm, we're asking, and I'm asking God to, here I am, you know, uh, I'm available for your service, send me. Um, I'll, I'll go where you want me to go, I'll do what you want me to do. So basically, that's it, and it's, and it's got it's kind of a reggae-ish, uh, Caribbean kind of uh, feel. So it's, um, it's a joyous kind of song. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, yeah, it's kind of, I like it. It's one of my first songs that I wrote for the album. So good. So be blessed by this song. It's going to be in, you're going you're gonna to be really be blessed, actually. You're going to be surprised mm -hmm. by the, the ambiance that Uncle Dave sets up for you. And then we'll come right back uh, to interview him more. So be blessed. Hear me, Lord. Hear me, Lord. Here I am. Here I am. Hear me, Lord, hear me, Lord. Here I am, here I am. Here I am, send me. I do what 
you want me to do Here I am sitting I go where you want me to go So hear me Lord, hear me Lord Here I am, here I am. Hear me, Lord, hear me, Lord. Here I am, here I am. Here I am, here I am. Here I am, send me. I go where you want me to go. Here I am, send me. of this song it's so personal it's so personal the way that you can connect with our people if I mean, you were not tapping your feet or or <laughs> snapping your fingers something's wrong with you okay because that song picks you up and you, you want to go you want to go that's that's the whole idea you yeah. know here i am send me you know yeah. let's do this now it's there's mm -hmm. something about the lyrics though uncle dave and uh, uh, when when dad actually he didn't ask for permission but he he shared with me the album before it even she should have but he sent it to me anyway and i was like this is so good and then when we talked he said well it's it's not just you were trying to write an album or write songs it's much more than that tell us about the inspiration behind this album well the inspiration um unfortunately is COVID 19 um which uh uh, forced me and um, uh, everyone else during th that time into a state of um, anxiety, you know, and I, I know it says not to be anxious about anything, but during that particular time, I was a little anxious. Um, I come from a, a, a background where I rarely take time off, mm. um, even when I p perform with um, larger named acts, mm -hmm. when they weren't on the road and I wasn't on the road. I would come home for whatever amount of time I had, uh, whether it be two weeks or four weeks or eight weeks, and I'd be in some bar someplace playing or some restaurant or some small club occupying that time. Mm -hmm. And then I would go back out on the road oh with God. the you artists. You are such a hard worker. You're a hard worker. I yeah. mean, you know, whether you're on, I remember when you were on cruises, you were on Maui for a while. I mean, you <laughs> work so hard. That's, that's yeah. why, yeah, you know, uh, March 17th, and I, and I won't forget the date. That was my last day of work at the Kahala wow. uh, 2020 um, before everybody was laid off. So um, I was forced with that, you know, not having ever been unemployed uh, mm -hmm. for any length of time. <clears throat> So what I did, I just got, you know, I had to vamp up my prayer, my, my prayer. Um, I vamped up my, my um, early morning devotions. I have a program on my iPad um, called Through the Word. And it's a uh, day by day um, uh, study in, from the chapter from Genesis to Revelation. Oh, wow. So every day is a different, they take one chapter mm -hmm. and they, they study it. And I would do that in the mornings. 
And, um, and you read through the Bible? I, I read through, read the, through Bi the entire Bible. In a year's time, wow. or whatever the, the designated time of that pl uh, plan is. Oh my Great. Goodness. And yeah, it's very inspiring. And then after that, I, I journal, um, and I journal my prayers. So um, I started thumbing through my, my hard drive, and I have all these prayers. They're all dated. <clears throat> and I said to myself, well, there's a lot of material here if I want to to write, you know, an inspirational album. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also just a lot of material, you know, for me to share with, you know, everybody. So I thought maybe if I wrote just an eight bar tune uh, daily, you know, just sit at the piano and tap out of good morning, Lord, good morning, Lord, <laughs> and, and post that on Facebook, it would be like a doorbell. Yeah, you know, people yeah. would hear it mm -hmm. one time and go on their day, hopefully. I mean, right. that's a blessing, though. It, yeah. it was like you were having these spiritual encounters with God every morning and, and giving your personality. I mean, you are a professional. I think a lot of times people forget because you're so personal. You're a professional musician, and you want to bless people in such a way to call them to encounter God every day. That's all I could do. I mean, I, like I said, I had to vamp up my prayer life. Wow. Everybody was scared. Yeah. And and who's uh, and what is the answer? Mm -hmm. You know, we know who the answer is. Mm -hmm. You know, but do they? Wow. And um, and what's going to happen if they if they don't get it? Mm -hmm. oh. So my my idea was to create short prayers, which mm -hmm. I I said, okay, this is the project. I'm going to do short prayers. I told Denise about it, and I told her that I would like to post a short prayer every day on Facebook, which everybody was doing. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I'm going to jump on this bandwagon, too. Mm -hmm. um, the, the term streaming became very popular. Everybody was reinventing themselves, mm. you know. So these short prayers I was going to send to my friends or post them. And those friends that I did send them to recommended making the songs, the prayers longer. So my <laughs> prayers got longer and longer until they were, became full-on songs. Wow. And uh, so I, I took the best of those songs, and, and that's what, what uh, the album became. So these songs, at the root of it, were prayers that you were crying out to the Lord during yeah. that time. From March 17 on, you're crying out to God, and they evolved over time into these songs that are blessing all of us. Well, you're going to be blessed by them as you listen to them. Mm -hmm. These songs of blessing, but are at the heart of it, these expressions of crying out to God in a place of need, in a place of... Well, you were, you were encountering God every morning, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. I had always, you know, I've had a regiment of, of meditation, mm -hmm. um, devotions, um, whether on a treadmill, <laughs> out on my lanai, mm -hmm. or on a walk. Um, but lately, you know, my lanai has been my sanctuary, my sanctuary mm -hmm. um, in the mornings. And that's where I would do most of my, my uh, reflection. Wow. Uh, with me between yeah. me and Jesus, and that was that's how it would start my day. Wow. Everybody has their own way. Yeah. And um, so, <clears throat> after I do that, now now I go to the piano, you know, and I take I take whatever prayer that I've written, and I find a, an important part of it. Wow. And it became these songs. So it's changed my 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 uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's increased it because now I'm. I'm depending on uh, the Holy Spirit to give me food for thought, you know. So you feel, the, you feel the Lord really even giving you the melody along with the lyrics. That yeah, you're, yeah. You're the, melody, the melodies would come at, at night in my sleep. Oh, my gosh. And I, what? I keep my phone on my nightstand. <laughs> yeah. And I record it, you know. What do you uh, mean? You sing it out? Yeah, I sing it out, oh you know, real lightly. Oh, my goodness. It, I'll hum it, you know, and I'll just put the phone down. You know, in the, the morning, I'll pick it up and I'll listen to it. You know, most times I'm in the bathroom, I'm listening. I'm just, what, did I, what did I say last night? Oh, my you know, goodness. <laughs> that's the, wow. And, and that's how, and I would share it with Denise, you know. Yeah. Um, one of the songs, Swing Down, was, was taken from Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Yes. <laughs> you know, that was an old mm -hmm. uh, a Negro spiritual. Yeah that my father taught me and we wow. sang, you know, when we were children. And I said, well, you know, swing low. I said, well, swing down. So I, I, I kind of switched it up a little bit, but the concept is the same, you know. Uh -huh. We're waiting for the second coming. Oh. 
Oh my! You know goodness. when he does crack mm -hmm. the sky, and he, you know, he, he's going to take us with him. And now that's, you, you got to tell us though, because this is a miracle. You're getting these inspirational lyrics through prayers. You're getting the melody through while you're dreaming, while you're sleeping. This is such an inspiration from the Holy Spirit. For and you that's to never this happened album. before. This is a miracle, really? right? Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. Really? That has never happened to me before. So oh. it took the COVID. I, that's what I said. <laughs> like you say. Unfortunately, it took you know? the COVID. To it, it really was wow. a reset in many of our lives yeah. Yeah. of getting back to the Lord in, yeah. in a deeper way. Wow. Well, I mean, yeah. here you're connecting, and now mm -hmm. he's giving you, uh, even in your sleep, wow. these great songs. Yeah. And once he started, it just continued. You know, it was, oh. it was easy. You know, like I said, you know, I wrote more than 10 songs. But out of the out of the ones that I wrote, um, these were my favorite ten. Mm. Wow! But uh, yeah, it, it just the, the the spirit just kept giving me ideas, and um, and it was easy because um, I had a regiment of work anyway. So yeah. I would spend X amount of hours in my studio working on these songs, and and family time, of course, which we were forced into because we were <laughs> quarantined. But yeah, it it was a blend of of uh, the spirit and Denise and I. We got to know each other a lot closer, as I, I'm sure everybody did. Mm. Wow! And this uh, is the first album of its kind that you've ever written, right? And, yeah. and sung. I mean, I don't. Correct I've me never about, written. Yeah. I've never written um, a, an album. I've written songs, um, some some inspirational and some secular. Uh, most mostly secular, mm -hmm. but uh, this was the first time that the um, the spiritual inspiration came to me. Wow. So this is an album that's really coming out of your encounters with God. That's so good. And the the music is coming literally coming out of the Holy <laughs> Spirit speaking yeah. to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is a fabulous album, I and mean, it really is. And yeah. thank you. Even swing down, you know, um, you know. I was telling you, a couple of our friends just lost their mothers this past weekend, mm -hmm. um, and and I was listening to your song, Swing Down, and you know, you're talking about the second coming of Christ, but it applies when someone dies too. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, the heavens crack open, and he <laughs> yeah. comes, and he gets us, and he swings down, and, and takes <laughs> yeah. us home, and I mean, I just found myself in tears listening to it. It's, just, it's a great song. Thank you, know. you. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm thanking the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> so of the of the ten songs that, mm. that are on the album, which in my head that's a miracle that uh, I think you said off camera that you you wrote twenty mm -hmm. and you chose to keep ten. In my head, those are really good odds to keep half of the twenty. I, in my head, like that's a miracle in and of itself for you to keep the ten. But of the ten songs, what is your favorite song that that you 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 have on the album? Well. Um, they're all my children. Um, that's, that's, that's the way I look at it, you know. Um, but I think the one that, that brings uh, the most emotion is uh, the one called Abide With Us. Oh, okay. Mm. And um, I, even the, my uh, friend who was helping me mix, um, and I, <laughs> you, you have to edit this out, but um, he was mixing the, the song in his, in his studio without me. He lives in, um, in California. And he said, damn you, Dave, you made me cry again. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping this one out. You can't edit this part out. Come on. <laughs> He's sitting there mixing them in tears. He said, tears are rolling down my eyes. Yeah. And he said, yeah. you made me cry. And uh, so, yeah, it, it brings that kind of um, emotion because it, it invites uh, the Holy Spirit to to come and have dinner with us. I mean, wow. when are some of the most important times in a family's day yeah. is, is when they sit at the table and they and they have dinner together. Um, so and then at, while they're at dinner, he's asked to to explain why, you know, he let them kill him just for us. Mm. And that right there is like you know, yeah, cut. <laughs> Yeah. I want to cry, you know, yeah. but that, that's uh, my favorite song. I, yeah. I told him yeah. too when he yeah. sent it to me. I was crying the first time I heard it yeah. uh, during the COVID times, and and uh, it ministered to me. But we're saving that song for the last one. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna save that song 
We're going to get to that, but we want to we want to transition to swing down because we've been talking about swing down. Your father taught you swing low, and mm -hmm. that's where the inspiration came. And uh, it's not just a prayer song. I was telling Uncle Dave this. It's not just a song of prayer. It's a song of ministry. Mm -hmm. It ministers to the spirit. That's why you sent it to your friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to be ministered by this song called Swing Down. So enjoy this song. I think um, of all the songs on, on my new album, this one touches me the most. It's called Swing Down, and it's based upon a song that was sang to me. It's an old Negro spiritual entitled Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. But the song also covers the crucifixion, the resurrection, and also the return. As it talks about in the crucifixion how two thieves were nailed on either side of Jesus. The one mocks him and the other looks at him and asks him to remember him when he enters his kingdom. And Jesus says to him, today you will be with me in paradise. So that's my quest. In spite of myself, when you swing down, won't you pick me up? Because he believed in you When you swing down When you swing down When you swing down When you swing down Oh Lord Pick me up and take me to the other side Choose me Take me to the other side When you swing down Trumpets blow, out of which nobody knows. There'll be two men standing side by side. One disappears, and the other cries. That's when you swing down. Father's house, there are many mansions. You said that, Lord. I believe it because you said it. And I also believe that you went there to prepare that place for me. Knowing full well I would never qualify. You knew I'd fall short. But yet you laid down your life, and not only did you make a down payment, Lord, but you paid it in full. You did that for me.
awesome. That was so awesome. Good. Swanson, I, you have you 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 said in this video that <laughs> "Swing Down" is your favorite song. <laughs> Just before we went to this video, you just said "Abide with us" was your favorite song. Okay, we were all True. set. You we, set us up, man. We were trying to set up "Swing Down," but, and then you throw us off by saying your favorite song is "Abide." But with I cleared us. it up though, I, you know, because I said something. I said that they're all my children. <laughs> they're all, they're they're all your favorite. So they're That's all my not favorite. Fair. That's not fair. It's true, right? How's a parent going to say it, right? That one of yeah, the children's right. Favorite. He's my favorite it's child. <laughs> it's true. He says that with his grandkids. He yeah. says they're all his favorites. Yeah. So. That's yeah. right. I do. That's the way I feel about it. I do. Well, awesome. well, that, you know, because to me, abide with us, which the name really should be abide, by the way. Not just okay. <laughs> it, will, it will be. It will be. But, but abide with us is my favorite. You know, there's, in fact, you know, um, I was, I want to ask you, if we can make that into a worship song for congregations to sing, because it is so rich. Mm -hmm. this, it is an incredible song that you put together. I mm -hmm. mean, it really is that God gave it to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, um, And it's not just for you. It really is, I think, for the body of Christ to sing. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, yeah. I'll have to write another verse. <laughs> yeah, that'll be great. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> because it's, it is a very short it's a very short song. Well, that's my number one complaint about your songs. They're all too short. <laughs> okay, I'm short. Sure. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, but not the like music. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but at least, at least he wants more. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, know, you know you would have us sing that song anyway, regardless yeah. of your permission. He's I, just trying to be honored, but if you yeah. said no, we would still sing it. That's yeah, no, you could still <laughs> sing it. Just sing it twice. I mean, we're really getting into it. I'm really yeah, getting, I'm getting into it. I yeah. mean, ask Ron Yoshida. Is it too short, Ronnie? Yes, yeah, too short. It's yeah. too short. Okay? Too short. Too yeah. short. Which short. brings it, I don't know if I've already said this, but that was the whole idea was to make short prayers. Mm. Oh. So this one was even shorter when I first wrote it. But, wow. you know, this is as far as I stretched it out to. Wow. Um, but I'm glad I did because it wouldn't yeah. have gotten past the first four bars yeah. had I kept with the original format. But... Uh, yeah, this song is a is a touching invitation for for Jesus to come in and to and to spend some time with us, to hang yeah. out with us, to mm -hmm. have dinner with us, and you know. So yeah. Well, it goes right along the lines we we're talking about inviting Jesus into our homes. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, we're literally talking about you open the front door, <laughs> you let Jesus come in. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what this song is all about. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I want our people to just. You know, mm -hmm. let this be a part of our lives, mm. this abide. And, and it, it, you know, it speaks of, you know, as we, as we eat the bread and drink the wine, you know, yeah. to remember what you did, mm -hmm. you know, we're, yeah. you're welcome here you, yeah. anytime, you yeah. know, come, come and abide with us. And yeah. So people are wondering, okay, how do they get their hands on this album, right? This is the first time they're hearing your music. Uh, where can people go to purchase uh, uh, or download your songs uh, and this album? Well, uh, as of uh, Friday the second, uh, it's now available on um, all platforms. All platforms. Yeah. Spotify, awesome. uh, iTunes, uh -huh. iMusic, uh, uh, you name it. Uh, wow! I and it just came out this past Friday. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Good Friday came out. And, uh, wow! So I'm I'm really excited about it, and I'm you know I'm. I'm, I'm thinking that uh, it'll bless uh, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking mm -hmm. that um, it's going to be received well because it's inspired. It's all scripture based and it's in, in, inspired by the Holy Spirit. So mm -hmm. um, it can't, can't go wrong in mm -hmm. my opinion. Mm -hmm. Well, and this album is, is, is so good to share with others. That's, that's, well, that's what he did. He started sharing it with people, <laughs> right? And it really is because it ministers not just to the person, but it ministers to others. And so we should uh, share with others. Uh, you definitely want to purchase for yourself, but share it with others as well. You got, you're so popular. See, people are calling you. They're already right calling now. in. It's <laughs> already ordering it. <laughs> like, where can I get it? Yeah, right. On. The phones are ringing. <laughs> but uh, you'll Put it on silence, Watson. <laughs> I know. I was like, what is that? What's I, going on? Yeah. It's your watch. Um, <laughs> but you also mentioned a website. People can go to your website. What's the name of the uh, website? Yeah, um, my full-time most active website would be uh, on Facebook, 
Okay. Uh, David Swanson Music on Facebook. Okay, perfect. Yeah. perfect. And you'll see links to everything you, every question you, you'll have. Mm. Great. Yeah. And they'll get an immediate, they can get an immediate download, be listening to it really, literally in minutes. Oh, yeah. 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 You can download uh, one song or you can download the entire album. Uh, so uh, whichever will be available on all awesome. formats. But you're also going to be, you're also back to performing at the Kahala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday and nights. Saturday nights. Yeah, one, okay. night, one night a week, but it's a two-hour two hour concert. What time? Six to eight. Six to eight, Saturday. Are people, are the public still allowed, are, are the public allowed to go and, and park and show up? And yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought it was yeah. just hotel guests or no, to no. That, it's but. it's business as usual now. Oh, okay. Um, the valet are out there parking cars, and mm. and the, the tourists are lined up to make reservations at the restaurants. And oh, perfect. Things are pretty. Um, it's pretty, pretty filling. Pretty, up. It's yeah. almost getting back to normal. I and mean, we still not not even halfway there, but it's beginning to fill up, isn't it? Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. good to see. You know, because yeah. oh, I, it was so grim. Mm -hmm. I, I took a drive, it was about maybe November of last year, just to see, <clears throat> and it was all boarded up and, and uh, wow. desolate, mm -hmm. you know, but now it's not, it's not like that anymore. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We're going to get to the last song that we've been talking about, Abide With Us. You're going to enjoy that, but before we get to that, you've already started making references to it, but it's Easter. We want to hear from your heart, yes. who is Jesus to you? I think that's oftentimes people reflect during Easter time, who is Jesus to them? And especially, as you mentioned, with COVID of last year, you were crying out to God. And I'm, I would love for you to share a little bit more on that is who has Jesus been for you in this last year? Well, he's my rock. He's, mm -hmm. he's the, uh, <clears throat> he's the go between, between me and God. You know, mm -hmm. when I, when I, when I address, um, him, I address him as, you know, Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, I, I call it the bundle package, but, you know, the, I believe in, in God and Jesus as being the Son of God and, and the Holy Spirit, you know, that's the Trinity as we mm -hmm. call it, or yeah. as I call it, the bundle mm -hmm. package. <laughs> <laughs> but, <clears throat> yeah, he's meant more to me because, I, you know, it's personal. Mm. Um, talk, I, you don't have to be on your knees. To, to speak to him, and you don't have to be on your knees to hear from him. Um, I believe that uh, John 10:10 10, 10 is my is my favorite verse, wow. mm. where it says that he comes to give life and give it more abundantly. Mm. So you know, I, I count on that because my life. I'm not a minister. I'm not a I'm not a preacher um, per se, but my music can be used in that way. You Absolutely. know, and that's only possible because of of Jesus because I'm not, I'm imperfect. Um, so, you know, what he gives me, uh, I just hope that I'm worthy of it, you know. Mm. So uh, this album has been um, a, a example of that, you know, oh. that I've listened to him and I believe that everything that's on that album was inspired by Jesus. So what does he mean to me? E everything, I mean, it's, there's nothing else. That comes yeah. out in your songs, this relationship. There is a reverence that you have for the Lord. It, yes, indeed. Yeah. But there is also this personal connection, as you just shared, um, that is, is, is inspirational and admirable for all of us to want to get to that point with Jesus. And we're just finishing up um, the Sermon on the Mount, and you talked about Jesus being the rock. That's how he ends it. Right. right? Mm -hmm. He ends it. It's the wise man that builds his life, builds his house on the rock. And... Thank you for sharing that because this is something that we all need to do is live our lives based on the rock in these unprecedented times and these unstable times. Who else do we have but Jesus, you know? So mm -hmm. thank mm -hmm. you for being here with us. This is oh, it's my blessing. pleasure. It's my pleasure. So good. Yeah. You got anything? Yeah. You know, Dave, um, you know, one of the things that you know, in the Sermon on the Mount is that Jesus says, blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God. And, and this album really makes peace mm -hmm. in these horrible times where there is so much racism mm -hmm. you know and and you and i reconnected because of the horrific uh, murders that took place you know this past year with um the george uh, uh foster with uh, floyd. george floyd, floyd. Mm -hmm. sorry the george floyd murders and 
And, and so much of this is coming out of that anguish, but it produces so much peace mm. because it's so easy, you know, uh, even in the mood right now, there's an anti-Asian move that's going mm -hmm. on across our country, but your album really brings us back to the rock. Mm. Wow. wow. So and good. the foundation that we need. And that's, you know, I really think it's such a word from the Lord for all of us. Thank you. Well, it, it, I, really, I really appreciate that, hearing, hearing that from especially you, um, because you have been such a, a, a rock in, in our household, in this church. Uh, I know it's been a long time, but <clears throat> Prior to that, it was a long time, and my Mason grew up in NGMC, and and uh, and we've been around here for a long time. It never left, so so I I really appreciate hearing that, and and thank you so much for welcoming me and allowing me to um, um, to share this album with you, and I, and I hope that uh, that it's much of a blessing, you know, to everyone else as it has been to me. Amen. It brings us back to the rock. It to does. Jesus. It, that's, it, that's it, man. Yeah. Good. That's it. So good. Well, thank you for being here with us. Uh, we're going to close out with the song, Abide With Us. Be blessed by that song. And then when we come back, Pastor Ron will be here with you to close us up. God bless. your fragrance sit right here as we kneel at the feet that were nailed to the cross we welcome you them kill you just for us as we eat the bread and drink the wine to remember what you did we welcome you Dave said it all in the song, he sang it, and even before the song, he mentioned John 10.10. 10. That's the verse that Jesus came so that you could have not just any kind of life, but eternal life and abundant life. He also said, 
And he's saying, God wants to abide with you because he loves you so much. Revelations 3.20, that's, that's what the song is about. He's standing at the door, he's knocking, but you gotta open the door. And you know what? If you open the door, like the song says, he's gonna come in and he's gonna sup with you. He's gonna hang out with you. He's gonna eat with you. I don't know where you're at today, but I wanna give you the opportunity, if you haven't done so yet, to open your heart and open your door of your heart and allow Jesus to abide with you. What better day than Easter Sunday to receive the love of Jesus so that you can have abundant life, but also eternal life when you leave this earth. So if that's you, I'm just gonna Pray a simple prayer, and I want to invite you, you can bow your heads, or as long as you're not driving in the car, just go ahead and bow your heads, close your eyes, and you can repeat this prayer after me. You can repeat it out loud, or you can do it silently. Okay, here we go. Just say, Dear Lord, I open the door of my heart, and I receive you as my Savior and as my Lord. I thank you that you died on the cross for my sins. I know I'm a sinner, but I thank you that your love is greater than any sin that I have committed. Thank you, Jesus. I invite you in to abide with me, inside of me right now. Thank you, Lord, for being my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Hey man, if you, if you prayed that prayer right now, Jesus came into your life. And so, you know, we say this all the time. If you did pray the prayer, put a comment, email us, you know, put a comment on YouTube or Facebook because we want to connect with you, man. You, you made the greatest decision of your life. And you know what? You did it on Easter Sunday, 2021. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Daniel, Pastor Ooh, Cal, and Dave so Swanson for oh, sharing man. that testimony. Wow. I loved what he shared about spending time with the Lord every single day and just the inspiration that God gave him during this season. So and so we have a question that we'd like to ask all of you is, what are some of the victories that God did in your life in this last year? Great question, thanks for asking that, Michaela. And so now we have a couple of announcements. The first one being, we wanna say thank you to everyone mm -hmm. who donated at our past week's food drive. Um, it was just so successful. And truly, we're just so proud of yeah. all of you who are just so generous and really investing into the future of Hawaii mm -hmm. and blessing all those families. So thank you so much. And the families of Hawaii say thank you as well. Yes. Our second announcement is we want to invite all of you to a special prayer meeting that's going to be coming up on Tuesday, April 13 at 7 p.m. It's going to be via Zoom. And so to find the link, you can go on to our website, scroll down a little bit and hit that Zoom connect button but we want to invite you out to this very important prayer night where we get to gather together to seek God and to pray for our church and for our people so we hope to see you there on our zoom meeting Tuesday April 13th at 7 p.m. that's so good and lastly uh, we just want to say thank you to all those who are giving their tithes and offerings at MGMC we have three ways the first way is to give online at mgmchawaii.com slash give Second way is that you can mail it in to our church campus. Or three, you can come on in and we can see your beautiful faces. And once again, what I shared last week, one of the best ways that you can give is by giving reoccurring donations. Mm -hmm. And you can do that monthly. And to do that, you just go to our website, mgmchawaii.com slash give. Um, it's gonna connect you to a PayPal page. And there, you click the checkbox that says make monthly donations. And then you enter in your amount. And mm -hmm. then you're set for 
however long you want to give. And this is so important because it's not just convenient, but it's setting a value for yes. your life of giving your tithes and offerings. And I do it and I love it so much. So I want to encourage you guys to jump on monthly donations because it works and it really creates a great value for all of us. Awesome. All right. Well, that wraps up this Easter service. We thank you all for tuning in. We love you guys and we hope you have a great day and an even better Ooh. week. Aloha. Aloha.